so right after your btech you got a job offer letter at your hand at that time what you will do you will accept that letter or you will reject that offer to prepare for gay to do your mtech from top iit which is for sure uncertain and in job we generally get three type of job after our btech and those are in it slash software industry both in service based and product based and uh, probably in vlsi slash electronics job which would be again service and product based or some other category like your financial banking so what would be your answer pause this video right now and please write down your answer in the comment and let's see if i can change your answer after this video hey hi wonderful people so i am today very much excited to share this very important answer with you and for all the new people i am your big brother rajdeep currently working as cad engineer at intel so we have basically two questions question number one is that why should we do a mtech from a top university or colleges in india and after this video if i can convince you to go for mtech then we have the second question and that answer would be releasing on my second part of this video which will be releasing in next 48 hour and that question is okay i am convinced to take a mtech but if i get few of the job opportunity right after btech should i reject all of them or we have some alternative so today's video and next video gonna be too much interesting to appreciate my work you can press the like button right now so let's start our answer number one and yes gate exam is uncertain but probably it is not so much uncertain also provided that you have seen my last three video which are coming here and here and links are in the description and also you have a deep rooted love for electronics then i think gate exam won't be too much difficult for you and also as you know the most efficient way to to use your gate scorecard therefore gate exam will become less uncertain for you so to finish your mtech you need roughly not two year actually three year because you need to prepare one year for your gate also and if you are currently in third and fourth year of your btech and you are already preparing for gate then you are saving your one year but head year this one two year here and there doesn't matter we will live for 80 to 100 years so one two year you can sacrifice for a greater career so now after doing mtech one thing is sure shot provided you have done your mtech correctly dedicatedly that you will be placed on all the big giant of semiconductor industry name anyone amd intel qualcomm anyone be placed in any one of those big companies and you will be recruited as senior or in the next grade of the job because you have a master degree and your salary would be more than an average btech guy who has joined a service based vlsi company just after his or her btech and salary would be comparable if that btech guy has joined a product based company probably comparable and i am just ignoring the fact that what would have been happened if that btech guy have joined a it slash software company because probably as we are interested in vlsi company we would be rejecting all the it job but hey wait wait for my second part of this video because there i will discuss more about what should be our algorithm to reject or accept like if we reject what the reason should be and if we accept a it or vlsi job what should be so wait for my second part of video and yes it's true that a guy who entered a vlsi industry service based or product based after one two year the time you will take to do your mtech will gain some huge experience but hey dear doing mtech doesn't mean that you also not be given any experience because mtech especially in top university is very practical exhaustive course so there you would be doing lot of lab work lot more insight into the concept and you can't imagine how satisfied it feel if you are truly a love boy or girl of electronics for example in my time i did my mtech from iit delhi in rftt so there our course was too much practically exhaustive and there we have fabrication lab also in both rf domain and in microelectronics domain for example see this 
this was a part of my i hope you can see it it was a part of my major project and the, this is a roughly it, it was a rejected copy of the heterodyne receiver i was trying to build in millimeter range so there i designed everything on using my hand in practical eda tool then i cut this 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 is the mask i cut by my hand like you can see the uh, video is running uh, here i think and these things are too much satisfying when you can uh, make your hand dirty like you learn the concept and you can make the thing practically and after that th there are many things left because i need to put many register i need to solder it in this small small you can get it right so the things was challenging and that's why if you do your mtech from top university for definitely you will be getting a much of experience not like in industry but still it is not lesser than that also plus we had our fabrication lab you can see the photo here this is the great greatest lab i have ever attended there we have done our mosfet fabrication for the first time mosfet come out of the book to me and like many of you i also don't know before taking this course that in india anywhere in academic we have this much facility like fabricating the mosfet and this can be possible only if you do your mtech from the top university and also after like designing uh, this one it is job is not over because after designing that we need to characterize its behavior also so that time we used to use our vna vector network analyzer and anything which come out of your book knowing anything in the book and doing practically things with hand are day and night difference and this thing give you a confidence for throughout the life that you can shouting in a society that yes i am a true engineer i know my electronics and that much confident you can never get by only doing your btech exceptional cases are there but in most of the case you can't say this thing additionally we did two three project on cadence like those are our subject project and you know cadence is like monopoly in the industry cadence synopsis mentor graphics tools are the monopoly in the industry so you would be getting experience on the tools which are used in the industry so who said that you won't be getting any experience if you do your mtech you will be also getting the experience additionally you will be getting a strong hold of alumni waste because we don't know what will happen in future so having a strong network your alumni waste would be a very strong and all the batchmate also position in top companies in the world so it is like an automated networking session of two year like for two year of mtech you can make a lot of network in the industry and more benefit of doing mtech is that you can keep a door open for research work like in future if you want to do phd from abroad or somewhere and if your btech are not so from good college then having a iit mtech will give you a lot of advantage of doing a phd from abroad or in india also from best colleges plus you interact with the best professor of the india so that means you have a link with those professors so in future for any project if you need referral you can ask those well-known professor to refer you and you can explore other opportunities also like doing a startup and society believe on a iitian this is a good stereotype for an iitian so that's the reason that maximum of the startups are opened by an iitian because they can easily get funded why because in society any people can believe onto a iit and then some other person i am not neglecting about other person but this is a fact and they believe that if you fail in something like like you fail in your startup 2 3 year and then you are sitting for industry job then that industry people won't feel like you are failure because there would be a strong feeling as you are a iit and that that you will be the successful in the future and in our iit delhi i don't know about other institute but probably they have that we have a two year cool off period also like at those two years we can start our own startup work for those two years after mtech is or btech is over and if we fail on that startup our IIT Delhi will provide us opportunity to sit for placement again. And IIT tag is not just a tag, it's like an armor. 
because when you are out of IIT for full lifetime you have the confident and I think most of the people have the skill but most of the people don't have the confident and as an IITian he is infused with the thought that he is the top tier of this country so inbuilt a confident build on you and that's bring the attitude to get successful in any path or anything you follow so it is not the skill which make a IITian successful but it is the inbuilt confident which he or she gained during his or her stay in the IIT and which also imply that any general people if he can do hard work and gain that similar kind of confident without being in IIT then he can also be successful so keep this thing in your mind and in IIT the competitive environment your mind will be blown off you can choose any field sports drama dance study anywhere competition is there and I saw many people making library as their second hostel I have my story also someday I'll share like my days at IITs but yes in IIT you can do anything if you want to read only for 24 7 you will find your companion if you want to dance for 24 7 you will find your companion if you want to swim etc etc you will get a companion and who is the best and as mentioned you will having the best professor but also best equipment also for example in our lab we had one machine which is a one terahertz vna vector network analyzer and at that time probably now also it is the only one in entire india and again i am highlighting to this word and that is that if you are itian your life would be easy because you can achieve anything very easily comparatively to a people who is not from iit but but and but this doesn't mean that a non iitian can't achieve anything in my team i can see in intel there are probably many one who are not from iit and but only because of their sheer hard work they are into a top company doing top thing in our industry so which means it is the hard work only you do it before get into the iit or you need to do hard work little more to get the same success as an iit and can get so now the next question yes i am convinced i'll do my mtech but what should i do the offer i got just after my btech and for that you need to wait for two more days because on thursday i'll be releasing the part two of this video and that is what should be our algorithm to choosing and rejecting any offer right after our btech so in meantime you can continue this discussion in the comment section I, I would be there and if you haven't subscribed my channel you have all the reason to subscribe and i will see you on thursday and yes i am available in comment section so do comment something